what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides, and I am at Dimmit Automotive Group. It's their annual Toys for Tots car run. We got a great display of cars. It's funny because there's a lot of big money exotics here, but one car that just caught my eye is this 2000 Subaru BRZ. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there and girls are big BRZ fans, also fan of the Scion FRS and the Toyota 86. It's, it's interesting because even with a lot of exotics, this car has such an eye appeal that it just pulls you in. This one has been massaged by its owner a little bit, and we're gonna point out some of the differences from your standard 2012 BRZ compared to this one. Now, right off the bat, what's amazing about it is that it's finished in galaxy blue pearl. That color no longer exists. If you wanna get something close to this shade of color, you have to go with lapis blue. But this galaxy blue pearl, amazing. Let's check out the front of this BRZ. So right off the bat, I've always been a big fan of the headlight uh, housings. I love the front end of the BRZs. And even with the refresh in 2017, they kept it BRZ looking. And I really feel that compared to the, the FRS or the 86, this looks a little bit more um, grown up in a way, uh, a little bit more like gentleman-like, and, and I like that. Now you'll see that this owner decided to add this uh, struck arrow adjustable splitter, uh, front splitter, remember that's gonna help produce downforce. What's nice about it is that it is adjustable. Another thing that this owner did is added these extra canards. Now, a canard is an aerodynamic device, so you see a lot of these in racing applications, when air is hitting the front of the car, it's gonna help channel that air and create more downforce. And that's the thing is, remember with this car, it's not about high horsepower, it's about keeping that speed up. If you're doing an autocross event or if you're doing a track event, you wanna keep that momentum going and you don't wanna to touch that brake. And by having some extra downforce, that's gonna help you do that. But I really just love the look of the front of this BRZ. Let's go ahead and check out the side. Now this owner decided to upgrade with these Enki wheels. I love the style. I love the color, the flat black really goes well with the galaxy blue uh, paint job. One thing that I know the honor, uh, owner, him and I were talking, is that he's gonna put some coilovers on it. So drop this down maybe an inch, inch and a half. I think it would help with the handling, but it's also gonna help with the overall look. Now underneath the hood is that naturally aspirated two liter flat four, no turbocharger, no supercharger. This owner put a set of Tomy headers on it and then a three inch Gretti exhaust that's gonna come out the back and you'll see um, what that looks like. It's a single exhaust, gives it that, definitely that boxer rumble sound. Another touch that I like that Subaru did, even though I'm not a fan of, of non-functional vents, I like this one because it really just cuts up all the blue and gives it a little bit of extra style. Very, very nice. As we transition to the back, just those typical BRZ lines, really, really sporty, really fun. Remember, this car weighs in around 2,800 pounds, may not have a ton of horsepower, but it handles like a dream. And then this particular owner decided to finish it off with this Cybend uh, carbon fiber trunk. I like the shape of it, I like the style. I know there's a lot of different options people could go with adding wings and whatnot on the back, but I really, really like what they did. They went with the blacked out LED upgraded taillights. Now, if you buy a 2017 or newer, they come from the factory with LED taillights. This one, the owner decided to throw some love with the rest of the car and add those on. And then, like I was telling you, there's that Gretti exhaust. Check out the size of the tip on that exhaust. That is a three inch exhaust all the way from the back. And that's gonna help open up that boxer rumble sound. These BRZs, ton of fun. They're a great price point. And it's something that it gets attention even at a show with a lot of high-end exotic cars. But if these are the types of cars that you like to see on Radies Rides, those Subaru BRZs, I know you do. Leave a comment in that comment section. If you aren't a subscriber yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back each and every day, daily uploads on, on Radies Rides. If you are a subscriber, thank you. Thank you for your trust, your dedication, your care, your commitment. It just keeps getting better and better, and I'm so glad that you're on this journey with me. If you haven't checked out my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages, all Radies Rides original content all the time, definitely check that out. Also, merch, you want some merch, guess what? Somewhere above my head, there's a button. Click that button, it takes you to Spreadshirt. Shirts, hats, bandanas, hoodies, bags, the whole nine yards. I know you wanna promote the channel, I know you wanna support the channel, and I am grateful for that. Another person I'm grateful for today, Russell. Coming in with his camera skills, showing his magic, he knows how to get the angles, he loves cars, and he loves sharing that passion with you guys through the lens. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.